Hey everybody, happy Thursday. This is gonna be a, an exciting day. Let me tell you what, we got a lot of work to do today. That's why you see me wearing a ponytail. I don't remember the last time I wore a ponytail. But it's gonna be a hot one, probably 101, 103 de degrees here in the Texas heat. And I'm gonna be outside for much of it because tomorrow is fair parade in our little town and it's a big tradition that means a lot to all of us so we've got to do something to support the community and have a little fun <clears throat> so we're going to do the best we can to get a float together today um the uh the fair parade is at 10 o'clock in the morning in downtown fredericksburg texas if you've never attended if you're in the area i highly recommend it it's quite a spectacle so my uh thoughts for today or my talk was going to be about <clears throat> some of the things you have to do as a leader which to me you lead by example if you work hard your team your crew your people that work with you are much more what, Koki? are much much more likely to work hard as well when you don't think there are jobs that um, are beneath you uh, you've got a lot better chance of having people follow your example and just pitch in and get the job done and that's what we all want to see in our organizations I know that <clears throat> I was told in the past multiple times that you know employees would always come in back when I had the retail store there were a lot of I can't tell you the number of 14 plus hour days that I would work in a row whenever it needed to be done and I remember some of uh, the employees coming in and going, okay, you were here when I left last night and you're here this morning. And if you do things like that, you never hear them complain if they have to stay a few minutes over because they're looking at it and going, hey, well, at least I wasn't here as many hours as you were. And I think that people really respect that. They respect someone that's not afraid to get their hands dirty. And my hands is gonna get real dirty today because building this float in 100 degree weather is some nasty work. But our team's gonna be there. They're gonna pitch in. They're gonna help as best they can. But um, even if they don't, they know that Wes and I are going to get out there and sweat until the thing's done and this parade float's going to get built. But uh, I never doubt my team and I know they're going to come through for us in, in full force and be amazing. <clears throat> A lot of the videos and things that we're doing right now are being posted first and foremost on our page Absolute Charm Real Estate. So if you have not gone over and liked Absolute Charm Real Estate group please do that. Um, I looked this morning, we were at like 9,800 and something. Yeah, was it 98 or 88? Or 91? I don't know. Whatever. We were getting 9,000 or something. Maybe it was 8,800. I don't know. We need about 1,000, let's say, to get to 10,000 because that is just lame to not be at 10,000. So I need all my friends and unicorn hunters out there to go like Absolute Charm Real Estate Group and you will get first look at the videos that we're doing. Uh, that you might want to model in your business or you might just want to watch them for fun. Yesterday we put out the Fredericksburg High School Batlin Billies video with Coach Lance Moffitt. Today you're going to get to see a snippet, a sneak preview of the Heritage Coach with uh, Tim Shipman's interview. Just a little snippet and then tomorrow will be the full interview with Coach Shipman. And uh, of course that one's certainly near and dear to my heart as Heritage is a cause that uh, Savannah went to school there for 13 years, K through 12, and uh, was on the waiting list when I was pregnant. I made sure that, that we got her on that list. I wanted to make sure she went to Heritage. Um, and if any of you know uh, John Ramsey, he was our physician, still is, and is a wonderful man. And we basically just said, look, uh, any school that he's helping found, that's where our kids go. We just got to do it this way. So. Help us get to 10,000 by tomorrow. Absolute Charm Real Estate Group on Facebook. Go check it out. Go like it. And tomorrow we can talk some more, or the next day, I guess, about uh, some of the new businesses we're starting. Because I did a video on that yesterday. You can go watch it on my page. Um, in the meantime, we can hit it in the drive as well for the abbreviated, what do you call it, Regis Digest, abridged version. But, uh, yeah, matter of fact, how about this, guys? How about I go ahead and pull over and show y'all the status of what we have got to do. The depth, the breadth of what we have to do. Move it over, Cokie Bean, and shake above her buddy. Oh, Cokie. Okay, Cokie, get over there. Let me pop this little bad boy out, and I'm just gonna show y'all around. Why not? That's the point of life, right? Stay in, Cokie. There you go, girl. Okay, and let's see if I can look at my mug all the time. <clears throat> let's go see what we got. Let's go. Here's our office. Y'all probably recognize this is where I drive up to every day. There's my car with the babies. 
still running so they're nice and cool for a couple of minutes and then back here is the utter and complete lack of progress <laughs> as intended there's jeremiah our ever faithful trusty photographer videographer there's my oh. adorable husband wesley <laughs> hey wes and this is the progress now mind you the parade is in 24 hours and so we got a lot of work this to do. This is in an undisclosed location. <laughs> Top secret. Undisclosed. <laughs> uh, I, I'm afraid to tell you I just disclosed it to the whole world. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So we got a lot of PVC pipe together. So what are these boards here for, honey? What, what are all these little triangles? Uh, these are to support out the sides. So they have a... Hey, you're, you're, you're revealing my secret. <laughs> I'm sorry again. <laughs> Why is it so much more secret than I am? <laughs> My whole life's so non-secret. panel on the side. So you get the 45 degree angle like the skirting, like this. So it's like hardcore, yeah. man. Yeah, right. it's a lot of work is what it is. And if you do want to come by to this nondescript location, <laughs> feel free to bring pizza. <laughs> hey, that's not Whole30, dude. Oh, that's right. <laughs> and Jeremiah's going to be setting up a GoPro uh, for us here so we can do a little time lapse. So hopefully we can show y'all what it looks like to see this crazy thing come together. So as always, thanks for joining. And we'll have uh, lots of good updates for you later. Bye.